What are you doing here, sweetheart? I'm just looking for Trey. Uh. I thought he might be here to get some footage from Ma Princess. Well, don't you guys check each other's schedule because you're joined at the hip? <laughs> Not lately. Uh, why don't you have a seat? Maybe, you know, he'll turn off and then, you know. I don't know. I'm his subject. He should be looking for me. Yeah, is there a problem? Because I kind of I kind of sense a little something, I don't know. like maybe. I, I'm just, what's going on with I'm the worried about Sam. I'm thinking. I'm afraid she and Jason might not find their way back to each other. Jason and Sam, look, listen, they're they're like family, right? Anything I can do to get them back together, I do that. You don't think they're gonna make it? Well, I didn't say that. I mean, they've just been through a lot. They've you know together, and they've said things to each other they can't take back, and things that they can't change. Then don't change it. When you love someone, just you get over it and you just move on. Christina, it's just it, it's just not that simple. You and Kate got over it. Yeah, we found our way back together, and you know, I mean, it, maybe J Jason and Sam will too. What your sister's doing, pushing away Jason. I, I understand what that's about because I've, I've done it many times. You you hurt. Or you have a terrible loss, and you think the, the, the safest thing to do is to hide from your pain with anger. You know what I'm talking about. I love you. But what you had to deal with with Kiefer and that whole thing, you know, and it, it, the confusion that you felt. You turned your pain into anger, and you lashed out. And I got to tell you, I've done that a thousand times. But sooner or later, yeah, it, you figure out that the loss is still there, and the hurt, and the... And you gotta face it. You gotta rebuild. I wish I could just tell Sam. Blaming someone, putting all your anger out there, it's not gonna fix anything. You just end up sorry and not knowing how to say it. Can I say something to you? You know, Trey's not here, so I'm just gonna go. Wait, call wait, him. wait, Christina, please, wait. Do, just... you, do you want something? Is it really that hard for you to? Be alone with your dad. First, I said I didn't want to be alone with you. I just, you know, I'm looking for Trey, so I figured he's not here, so we should just go call. Oh, I just, I thought that we kind of we connected a little bit, but Dad, I know that you're still upset that how your mom and I got you into Yale. I thought I was doing such a good job of hiding it. But I am, I am still your dad, and I miss you, and I want to spend a lot of time with you, and I, and I worry about you a great deal. This project, it's just, it's not. Oh, here it comes. Here what comes? Did you mom plan this? What? Are you just gonna give me another lecture about Trace using me? Uh, you, you came here, remember? I didn't even know I was gonna see you. Your mom had nothing to do with this. Still, you and mom could have talked about me and Trey at some point and just Have decided... I said anything about Trey since you got here? Have I said that Trey's using <laughs> you don't already? have to. I remember the last time we talked. You think he has some kind of hidden agenda and he's just exploiting me for his personal gain. Okay, I know though I didn't use those words, so I don't know what you're talking about. It's okay, about. Dad. I'm just wondering, maybe you're right. Thinking that I'm right. I don't think I've ever heard those words come out of your mouth, especially about Trey. I'm not saying you're right. I'm oh. Just that you might be. I'm not saying Trey is untrustworthy or that he is using me. So what, what, what was I right about? Maybe all he really does care about is the show. What got you thinking that? When I first met him, Trey was friendly, interested. You know, coming up with the show concept, it was, it felt like we were part of a team. But ever since we got to Port Charles and actually started filming, he's just been keeping me at arm's length, which I'm sure you love hearing. No, no, not when it upsets you. I've given Trey every opportunity to show that he cares. And just when I think that we're making progress, bam. Suddenly, he's all about the show again and how unprofessional it would be if we, if we got together. What are you going to do? I could quit. Mm hmm But without the show, there'd be nothing standing between us. 
But what if the show was the only thing that was connecting us? I'll lose him. Can I tell you something? I don't want to upset you or make you sad or whatever, uh, but I just, it's something for you to think about. Do you, do you really want to be in a relationship with a guy who cares more about a reality show than he cares about you? Tell you how pretty and smart and accomplished you are and how everybody should treat you with respect. But it's not gonna matter until you believe it yourself. Until you value yourself inside, then it's not gonna matter what Trey or anybody else thinks. I know. I know. I'm never gonna love this reality show, as you know. But you know what bothers me? Is that you could be doing it for the wrong reasons. To get back and meet your mom or to impress Trey. I thought the show is what I wanted, but now I'm not so sure about anything, especially Trey. I just wish I knew how you really felt about me. Hey. A part of me is afraid that... Christina! Hello? Trey! Hey. Hey. Mr. Corinthos. I didn't know where you were. Um, yeah, I I'm sorry. I had to, had to take care of something. Will cameras. Um, I called him off. Look, Christina, I've been giving this a lot of thought. And I I'm starting to think that Mob Princess is a really bad idea. What? I'm saying we need to rethink doing the show.